Spurred on TV, my name is The Premium Rat and welcome to something brand spanking new. First of all, as you could probably already tell, my voice is all over the gaff. I've been blocked up for the past few days. Anyway, this is going to be something brand new. Depending on who we play in the Premier League each week, I will be pitting my wits up against... Uh, an opposing fan or YouTuber of that particular club as of next week. This week, I tried to get a few bigger Liverpool YouTubers on board to actually start this thing, but unfortunately they were fairly busy, so this week I'm going to have to be playing the computer, but as of next week, I believe we've got Bournemouth away, so if you know anyone that's a Bournemouth fan or you're a Bournemouth fan yourself or know anyone that's a Bournemouth YouTuber or you're a YouTuber, Bournemouth YouTuber yourself, either contact me or contact the Spur on TV guys. I'm sure all the links and stuff will be down in the description and we can set something up. So as of next week, I'll be actually playing against someone real. But as of today, we're playing against the computer. So I'll show you what team we're going for. Um, obviously, you're going to try and keep this as real to life as possible. So we're going to pick in the team that I believe will start against Liverpool on Saturday lunchtime. Obviously, we've got no dire because of suspension. We've got Son that's injured. And in the last half hour or so, the news has come through that both Mason and Bentaleb will miss out. So we've gone for the standard 4-2-3-1 formation that we're rocking kind of this season. We've gone for Loris in goal. Davies at left back. Um, you know, Rose has actually played fairly well in the Europa League. But, you know, Davies hasn't really put a foot wrong in the league. So I believe he will continue to keep his spot. The back two of Vertonghen and Old World has been fairly solid so far this season. Walker, and then the two midfielders, which is the two spots that will come up the most in like the topics of discussion. I've gone for Dembele and Ali. You know, Dembele came off the bench against Swansea last weekend and looked very, very rusty. He needs minutes under his belt, and I believe that Poch will give him, will have faith in him and start him against Liverpool because on his day, technically, he's one of our best players. On the left then, we've got gone for Chadley. Of course, at Cam, we've gone for Eriksen. Lamella on the right and Harry Kane up front. Of course, we're going to be playing on Legendary to try and keep it as realistic as possible. So let's see how we get on. Playing Liverpool is always very, very difficult. If you'd have asked me last week what my predictions were, I'd have said a comfortable Spurs win. Because we're the form side um, and don't let any of this media crap delude you and, and you know fool you into believing that Liverpool are a better side than we are. Because they're not. We are a better side than Liverpool are. Anyway, but, you know, it's going to be Klopp's first game, and you know what it's like. The managers always seem to get off to a perfect start, but I'm going to go with the draw. I'll go with a 1-1, 2-2 draw, um, but obviously, hopefully, we can get off to a win in this actual game. He's done well to win that back, though. And here's Deli Ali. Finds his midfield partner, Dembele. Where's Lamella on this right-hand side? We've got no options. We have to cut back in. Here's Eriksen. Trying to work some room. He's going to get a shot away. Oh, my God, it's come off the post. Mignolet was beaten. Unlucky. In terms of our start to the season then, um, I've got no complaints. The only real result that was a bit of a dampener so far is obviously the Arsenal result at home. And the, the only man that can take blame for that is Pochettino, unfortunately. You know, I love that man. I love that man more than my family. But, you know, his decision to change the whole back five was a little bit stupid, if I'm honest with you. Rose would normally start anyway, so you could all right. Maybe he made four changes then to the back four, uh, to the back five. Sorry, because Rose is actually one of a starter, but to partner Vima and Fazio, who had an absolute nightmare. You know, I think it's fair to say he had an absolute nightmare. That was putting it. That's putting it nicely, to be honest with you. Um, and then Trippier at right back didn't have the greatest game, and have to play Vorm in goal was a little bit, a little bit of a bad decision in my eyes. But other than that, you know, we've had a solid start. Um, performances coming from Dyer has been absolutely fantastic and obviously we didn't expect Deli Ali to have such a good start so hopefully he can kick on results against Man City have been absolutely fantastic and other than that it's been fairly decent we've got a good chance here Ericsson 33 yards out Liverpool the tasty swines have decided to move the wall forward but there definitely isn't Howard Webb because he's retired but some baldy ref there has just pushed them back a little bit so, Ericsson from 33 yards. He's going to step up, put it over the wall. Mignolet makes a good save. It's going to be a corner. Don't tell me he's going to book him as well. We could be in a bit of trouble here. It's Milner from the edge of the box. That's not actually the edge of the box. This is like almost 30 yards. He's run over it. He's left it to Lalana. Played it short to Sturridge. That's a great block from Ben Davies there. Putting his body on the line. And he's won it back again. Fantastically well. Well done, Benny Davis. Ericsson. Where are the options? The options are coming in way of Dembele. I thought it was Lamella on this right-hand side. It's going to be Dembele, though. He's going to cut in on his left foot. Who's there on the edge of the box? It's Ben Davies! Oh, my Lord. Struck it with his weaker foot. Why? Just strike that into the corner and 1-0 up. That would have been perfect for Ben Davies as well, who actually started that counter-attack. Unlucky, boys. That was our best chance so far. 
And that is going to be half time. Nil nil. Been a very cagey game so far. Couple of chances for each side. Storage had a ball whipped in deep to the back post. And then that chance at the end there. Ben Davies, unlucky. Well done, Deli Alley. Well done. No, referee. Get your eyes sorted. Here's Deli Alley. And here's Christian Eriksen. Oh, he's put it wide. Unlucky. Mignolet was stranded. Good start to the second half, though, boys. Big win. Uh-oh. Fall to Lalana. No one's closing him down. Good save from Hugo. Chad, hasn't done much. So, Townsend is on. And just to give us a bit of pace... Do I take Lamella off or do I take Kane? I don't really want to take Kane off, if I'm honest with you. But we are we are going to take Kane off, actually, just to give a little bit more pace up front. Eriksen to whip it in again. Ali on the edge of the box. Great header. Good save from Mignolet. Townsend. What is that? I don't believe it. We're in trouble. It's Lalana. Good save from Loris. That was poor from Townsend. Full time then. 0-0. Nil -nil. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the win. Pretty boring game, to be honest with you. The only real chance we had was in the way of Davies at the end of the first half. But, to be honest with you, if it ends 0-0 on Saturday, a lot of people will be happy. I'll be happy. Jurgen Klopp will be happy if it ends 0-0 on Saturday. I'm telling you that now. Anyway, guys, leave me some feedback down in the comments section. Um, thanks for, you know, Spurs, Spurs on TV for having me on. And hopefully I'll see you guys next week with... Um, the episode against Bournemouth where we will actually play someone live and get their reactions and stuff. Let me know down in the comments section um, for that week. Hopefully next week all the injuries and stuff will come back. So I want your preferred Spurs starting 11 for that one. And let me know who should start against Liverpool in real life down in the comments section as well. If you've enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you're new around here, do not forget to subscribe to Spurs on TV. All the links to my Twitter and stuff and my YouTube and stuff hopefully will be down in the description. And uh, apart from that, I love you all. And I will see you guys later on. Goodbye. How's it going, everyone? Now, as you can see, keeping it hashtag casual, having a little chill. I'm injured at the moment, so I'm not going to be standing up and ranting. Also, I've seen an anger therapist, so I'm a bit more laid back now. <laughs>